hear from you on the judge's decision. Oscar-nominated actress Felicity Huffman will be heading to prison for a little while. The Desperate Housewives star pleaded guilty to one count of fraud. I really think the end justifies the means here. Okay, we'll address your major ethical breach in a moment. A Boston judge uh, afterward then handed her a 14-day sentence for taking part in the college admissions scam. And the damage to reputation far exceeds whatever the time will be for any of them. She'll probably end up serving 10 or 11. Isn't a lot of time, although I'm sure to her it's a traumatic amount of time. You take a plea, you're going to jail. So the countdown is on for Felicity Huffman. In 40 days, the award-winning actress will cast aside her red carpet gowns to put on a khaki prison uniform bearing her inmate number. Huffman sentenced to 14 days in prison for her role in the college admission scandal. In a new statement, the actress says she is ready to pay for her crimes. Listen as an HLN producer reads from that letter. I accept the court's decision today without reservation. I broke the law. I have admitted that and I pleaded guilty to this crime. There are no excuses or justifications for my actions, period. I have learned a lot over the last six months about my flaws as a person. My goal now is to serve the sentence that the court has given me. All right, let's bring in Larry Levine. He's the founder of Wall Street Prison Consultants, so he helps people survive time behind bars as a former federal inmate himself. All right, Larry, so this uh, facility where she wants to go, correctional facility in the Bay Area of California, Dublin to be exact, nicknamed Club Fed in the inmate handbook, it says prisoners can sunbathe on the weekends. What do you know about this place? Well, if you read her judgment and commitment order, the judge committed her to the BOP, first of all, for 14 days. They're the sole deciding factor where you go. She could actually end up on home confinement or in a halfway house. I'm not fully convinced she's gonna go into prison because they have to process her in. There's a lot of formalities that need to take place and the BOP isn't geared. I mean, in the entire time I was in federal custody in the last 11 years that I've been out doing this, I've never heard of anybody getting a 14-day sentence. But if hmm. I guess if you're a woman and you've got to go some there, it's a really cush spot. It's a, well, okay, says it's a low security. They're not going to send her to a low. I'm reading what you have on the screen. The BOP has minimum facilities, low, mediums, and highs. Low facility is for somebody who is serving 10 to 20 years. Somebody who is serving zero to 10 years, they're going to go to a camp. So they're technically putting her at risk, sending her behind the fence. Hmm. So I don't think she's going to go there. She may end up going to Victorville, California. She could go over to uh, Phoenix, Arizona. They both have minimum security institutions. Remember, Mike, the BOP right now, they've got issues. They've got bad PR issues. Look what happened to Whitey Bulger. He was there, I don't know, less than 24 hours. Somebody took him out. Right. Look at Jeff Epstein, was only there for a short period of time. He got taken out. The last thing that the BOP needs is more bad, P, you know, bad PR. So the likelihood, she's not going to go inside. Now, if you want to compare it to Lori, uh, Lori Laughlin, Lori Laughlin is facing, I figured out her U.S. sentencing guideline levels. Judge is going to break her off. She shouldn't really get complacent based on Felicity's sentence. She's actually in what's called Zone D of the U.S. Sentencing Guidelines. She can't get probation, where Felicity was in Zone A and she could. So Lori's facing maybe 24 to 30 months. She'll definitely go inside, but Felicity, it's up in the air. Got it. Um, real quick uh, definition for us, BOP. What is that? The uh, Federal Bureau of Prisons. Got it. It's a uh, department, U.S. Department of Justice. That's their prison system. Got it. They have uh, federal women's institutions <laughs> spread throughout the United States. Got it. And w one last thing. So what's your advice? You help people survive time behind bars. What's your advice to Felicity Huffman for those 14 days? 14 days? I would say just keep my mouth shut. Don't get involved in drama. Don't get involved in any politics. Maybe spend, you know, spend all your time in the library reading, watching TV. She's not really even going to be in there long enough to get a job or enroll in any programs. 
And that's what makes this whole sentence a joke. I mean, 14 days, she got a BS uh, 250 hours of community service and a $30,000 fine. It's kind of an embarrassment to myself and other people that went into custody for her to get 14 days. And Mike, it certainly does not establish a deterrent for other people not to commit crimes. It's almost like they rubber stamp it. Like, yeah, it's okay. You want to do something? We'll break you off for two weeks. No problem. Mm. Larry, always good having you on. Larry Levine joining us. Appreciate it.